friends. I mean, it never hurts to pick up forageables around town because you can sell them to invoice or meet. Some of them are even pretty useful on their own. Spore bits are my f personal fave for the quick energy boost. Oh. It's like a lollipop made out of mold. It's a good source of quick energy. Thanks, Tinstall. for the life of me keep track of what I'm supposed to be doing in between whenever I start a new game or start streaming. Let's see. Okay. I don't know if I can harvest 20 crops today but I can try. Um, right. I need 10 bean juice for Mamunia. Five quibs, four clothlets. I think I'm growing one, two, three, four, five, six clothlets. Okay, I might use Speedy Grow on them. I'm gonna have the quibs and the seed plop. I think I have enough money to buy the coffee too. Let's see what meat's selling today. What's on sale? Ooh, clothlets! Half price. Definitely gonna buy as many as I can. Nice. Okay. Right, and let's talk to her so we can get some candy. Sprinklers are a great way to save you some time watering your plants, but you can also buy better dribbly cans to make watering faster. Yes, but they're expensive. And no matter how fast your dribbly can is, it takes a lot of energy. Oh well, yeah, let's see if he has any easy ones. 10 nernies? Oh, only 26 gummies though? I'm good. 10 muzz I could probably do, but still only 65 gummies? Hmm. It's like, they cost like three coins, right? So 30 muzz for um, just the seeds and then to grow it all. Mm. I don't know if that's worth it or not. Right, let's see what they have on sale. Kitty mask, whizzy hat, the same zombie head. Hmm. How many do I have? Three? Oh my goodness. Shouldn't even bother looking at it then. some cans I can pick up. Oh, and a curly horn. Right. Curly horn. Hi, Outgrid. This mystery can litter problem is weighing very heavily on my psyche. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if we'll ever get to find out the mystery of the cans. I mean, I'm assuming it's just like most garbage, right? It just washes up. Okay, I already have all of these guys. Clomper, Dumburb, Shrumbo. Right, I can run. I keep forgetting that. I'm always afraid to run. Oh, hi Lizzie. Isn't she usually in the coffee shop? Say though. No obsidian. Let's see if I think I have enough money for the coffee, so we'll get that and go to Mamunia today. Oops. Should probably plant the cloth ones first though. Let's get some candy from Basil. Is it Basil or Basil? The Z makes me want to say Basil. Time will tell if you if you'll account amount to every anything on the competitive circuit, so I'll refrain from burning bridges with you prematurely. Hmm, a healthy way to regard 
human relations. Friendships. What can you get out of them? As I was just saying, I'm only going to talk to Basil to get candy. But that's just because that's how he is. I'll do. Okay, I suppose. Business could be better. I'm not sure how to turn it around. Sorry to hear that. If there's ever anything I can do... I'm gonna think of it. I should take off my hat first. Let's see what kind of... Um... Oops. What kind of hairstyles he can do. I think it's just the beginning ones, right? Oh, and then you also have access to the boy haircuts. And hijab. Or, I mean, I guess headscarf. Depends. Hmm. Oh, these are actually not that expensive. The mohawk's kind of cute. I love mohawks, but my head is very bumpy. Hmm. That one's kind of cute. I like long hair the best. Space buns are cute too. I like my hair the way it is for now. Change facial hair. We color hair. Let's see what colors he has. Ooh, the purple's cute. I like long pink hair. I'm already there. I'm already got what I want. I wish I could dye my hair. In real life. I love dyeing my hair different colors in high school and in university too. I don't know why. Like. I was talking to one of my friends at the time who also dyed her hair and she was like, oh, I like to do it because I like to be different. And th that's fine. That's not the reason I did it. It never sat right with me. And I actually had a falling out with one of my friends and she said to me, she was like, you always dye your hair to try to like look cool and get attention from others. And I'm like, I'm not trying to get attention. I'm not trying to be different. And I finally realized later on as I grew up that like, I had no control over what my body was doing and how my body looked and how my face looked and the only thing I could have control over was like dyeing my hair. I also really wanted facial piercings too but I couldn't get those until I was 18 but my mom did let me dye my hair before I turned 18 so it was like the one thing I could change and do and having that control over your appearance especially when you're like going through puberty I don't know. I feel like it's really important. And that's why I feel a little bit conflicted about uniforms as well. Some people will never understand the difference between friendly customer service and actually being their friend. I've got a friendship sticker and some free drinks for my favorite customer. That's you, by the way. I like how she... <laughs> those two conversations blended into each other. Friendship sticker for my customer. Oh cool, I didn't need to buy the bean juice. It's nice. Shaky shaker, shake shaky. But yeah, I um, went to Catholic school in elementary and middle school. So elementary and middle school, I wore a uniform. But in high school, I went to public high school, so I didn't need to wear a uniform anymore. Kazuki, congrats on getting another badge. Friendship sticker badge? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, nice. Thank you, thank you. Um... So yeah, I went to Catholic school, so I had to wear a uniform. Uh, growing up in Australia and America, it seems to be that private schools, Catholic schools, religious schools are the ones that have uniforms and public schools don't. Here in Japan, public or private schools are usually both have uniforms. Uh, elementary schools are mixed, uniforms or no uniforms. Middle school and high school are almost always uniform regardless private, public, religious or not, so, um, a bit different culture. But... Do you know where I put my hat? I think it's on your head, no clue, maybe you should retrace your steps. I think it's on your head. Oh, um, no, I meant my other hat. Right, Officer Zuffel, of course. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't really have too much of a problem with the uniform because I didn't really know how to dress myself. Like I just didn't really care about style at the time and I just like didn't have any clothes um, at the time. So I didn't really like like personal clothes. I had uniforms, I had pajamas, and then I had like a few things that I wore 
in public in my free time but like I just didn't know how to dress myself and I wasn't comfortable like choosing my own clothes and styling my own clothes and like I was just so it was so foreign to me now I like it and like in in high school I, I like came to terms with it not came to terms with it but like became more interested in it and like wanted to do my own thing with boys so I grew an interest for it but yeah in elementary and middle school I was just like I don't I don't know what I'm doing I don't care so I was quite happy to wear a uniform it didn't bother me too much it was just really cold when it was snowing and they forced us to go outside and I was like I don't want to play outside I want to draw pictures but they forced us to go outside from what I remember and at my school the girls could wear pants if they wanted to but it, I didn't have any. I I only had my uniform skirt and that was all I could afford. My family could afford at the time. So I I didn't get a uniform pants. I'm sure if I asked for it I could probably get it, but I just didn't really bother, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really like wearing pants too, so I don't know if I would. But it was always really cold and they wouldn't let us wear like tights or anything underneath at the time. I think they might have changed now. The potion demand in Badge Town is really und undeserved. There's a potion demand? I want to make potions. Um, let's see what the wild ones need. Revitalize three, five wilting plants? Yeah, no problem. Um, but yeah, recently, like, uh, I teach English, so I, um, will ask the students what they feel about uniforms and especially once they get to third year of middle school which is ninth grade um in the united states they get their handle of the english language is a lot better and they start to do things like debates so one side um will take the pro uniform and the other side will take the anti-uniform they have to like debate it and give good points and bad points stuff like that and so i've taught i've had students tell me their opinions about uniforms so many times and a lot of them actually prefer it and say that like they don't have time in the morning to to choose out their clothes and they don't want people to like judge them for their style and if they don't have a lot of money nobody really knows there are a lot of positive points to uniforms I feel like but I watched a YouTube video I forget what her name was I'll I'll like when I post this on YouTube I'll mention her or mention the video or something was that five my bad I'm like not paying attention um, but I watched her video about her idea about uniforms and she was talking about how like it's ridiculous that um, one of the positive points is that oh, okay one of the positive points is that you don't know how much like money somebody has like if it's free dress then rich people will wear brand names and poor people will wear whatever clothes they have and people might be able to notice that and mention something like that's technically a positive point for uniforms but she was like that's kind of ridiculous though because middle school elementary and middle school is the age where you should be teaching children that you shouldn't be judging people for what they wear and that if there are bullies that are doing that you should nip it in the bud like teachers should see that and say that isn't okay and like um you know facilitate conversations like that's not okay but i'm i don't know like imagine being the poor kid with no options for clothes and like having the teacher pull aside the rich kid and be like don't make fun of sally for being poor in her rags like it's a great lesson to learn and it's important but also poor sally like she doesn't need to be the example you know i don't know it's yeah anyway in the video it was a long time ago that i watched it but in the video she made some other really good points that are anti-uniform which i agreed with and i think is important life's too sh too short to be worried about what everyone else thinks all the time that's why i don't try to describe my disguise my belching fair enough um i don't know yeah i'm just thinking about how like on this topic because of um, controlling how you look with your 
whatchamacallits. Um, right, I forgot I need to get the seed blob to Rugmolia. Let's do that before I forget. And Tinstall, give me some candy. Ah. Like I said the name, I didn't mean to. How's Badge Town treating you? If anyone is being mean, I'll deal with them. With paperwork. Everyone's being great. Everyone's been great. I'll holster my red tape for the time being then. But yeah, when I first started playing and I saw the hair color and I missed changing my hair color, that's when I realized, like, or that's when I mentioned about how um, being able to control your appearance is really important especially during puberty, in my opinion. So being forced to wear a uniform and like not being able to wear nail polish or jewelry or wearing your hair a certain way and like having to wear certain socks and shoes and stuff like that, like being very constricted and controlled while you're going through this time in your life where you have no control over like what time you go to bed and like your body is changing in ways you cannot control as well. And, you know, preteen, teen is the age where you really want to like have control over something anything and it can manifest in really negative ways when you can't do it based like you can't have control on basic things you know anyway let's see what Milo has to say the oob net was okay but nobody ever talked to me on it it's a lot harder for people to pretend they're afk in person <laughs> too real but yeah, I don't know. I think that uniforms have a lot of positive points, and I used to be pretty pro-uniform, but yeah, I don't know. Control is important. Where did I put my hexing stick? Oh yeah, I forgot to look at this. Study to determine whether ooblets are plants, animals, or minerals. Abstract. Complications arise when we try to define the concepts plants, animals, and minerals, which require further study. Ooblets remain inexplainable and resistant to categorization. Where's Ragnoli at? Where does she usually hang out when she's not here? I don't know. If you have a strong opinion about uniforms or... Um, controlling your identity or how you look especially at a young age let me know i'm curious is there not a place may shouldn't there be a box in the learnery like oh i just give it to the hankerbot don't i my bad my bad i thought i had to talk to ragnolia but i think i can just yep my bad this one and these Two cloth, what's an obsidian? One obsidian. And the other one needs four cloth, let's. And I'm growing exactly six right now. Fantastic. Ooh. Hi, Nova. My sweet little baby, my Petula, wandered off and I can't find them. They must be so scared. Can you help me look for them? Sure. Where's your little Petula? Hi, Vidion. I was wondering, does the broader Minpin's organization know you're a fraud league long? I informed them of it, but they didn't seem to care. They're quite accepting of differences. Good to know. What's Taffy gonna say? Taffy do? Overdue barbecue? What? Yes, it's true. True. What's on the bench? Tried to sabotage the incidentals recycling machine by feeding it random items. Have only managed to produce minimal downtime. Operative. Noted. Okay, so let's plant stuff and go to Mamunia. Right, right, right. Six are growing, but I just bought ten. I forgot about that. It's always good to have clothes. You need them for, like, every quest. Is this something? Oh. Anything else? Oh, 
Oh, one of the ooblets wanted three spressies. But that's like 240 gummies. Yeah, I'll get them when I'm a little bit more loaded. Sometimes you can get obsidian from the rocks. I'm trying to get lucky. Um, where's my? Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. Let's see if I can offload some stuff. Gave the sweetest little meow. That was really good. Thank you. They're so sweet when uh, my fiance or I come home. They're just so sweet and friendly. I love them. Um, I'll do the plenty's order. Pick up one. Okay. Uh, trap one, trap one. There we go. Yes. Okay, let's go. I have ten coffees now, right? Yes. And nine more to use for myself. It's getting dark. Sorry if it's difficult to see. Wait, did I do it? No, oh, yes. Yay. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, I thought I. That was. I thought that was my fourth one. That was my third one. Oopsie do. Okay, let's go. Just like it. <laughs> I was gonna say, was there an Ubu just hanging out in the bush? And then I realized that's um the petunia that what's her name was looking for? Melda? Oh, I'll have to grab it on the way back. She was just stuck in there. Hi, Dalmark, or whatever your name is. What did these guys need? Farty chokes. I'll get it when I'm rich. I already battled that guy. I already got these birds. These ones are for artichokes, right? The one I just- yep. Yep, yep, yep. I think I can pick up these flowers. I'm not sure what I'll need them for. I don't think they're in any recipes or anything, but... You're the one that wants coffees. Yep, here you are. Deal's deal. When you think about it, you're now also complicit in buying stolen merchandise. Sure. Oh, I thought we were going to dance battle, too. Oh well. So now I have three. I need three more. Right. The macarons and these spark flowers. Okay, so three spark flyers. Flyers? Three spark flowers and three fartichokes. And three mamunia macarons. So three of everything here. These ones, too? Ah, oh, these ones are the spressies. I already got the red one and the blue one. What about this cool guy? Crop... Croperty. Get your keycaps here. Perfect is Ooblet hat, Spressy cups, and potentially other uses. Ooh. See this one? I drew a face on it. That's what we call value added. 20 gummies, gummies extra. So you're the one selling the stolen keycaps. They sell themselves. 
with these keycaps on your ooblets, you can't lose in dance oh. So you're saying your ooblets are unbeatable? Are you willing to bet all your keycaps on it? Ding dong. That seems like an unwise business choice, but sure, why not? Ding dong. I didn't get to where I am in this industry by making wise choices. Shall we dance? I keep calling them gummies because gummy candies in Japan are called gummies. And I keep, whenever I see gummies written out, I just automatically think gummies now. Alright. Um, I never have Dumburb in my squad. Well, mm, let's try using them this time around. I figure what their moves are, if they're any good or anything. Let's see if there's any unpleasant mic noises. Thank you. 
get cards at level 3, maybe? Even with the smiley face keycap, my unwise business choice has somehow led to the worst possible outcome. I begrudgingly bestow upon you all my keycaps. Maybe you'll have more luck with them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if he has anything else to say. I'm just going to stand here and think about other lucrative, morally questionable business ideas. Okay. So after those six clothlets grow that I need for, I think, opening the dance barn and then something else, um, I will maybe make a sprinkler. Oh. I got all the missing keycaps. My savior, these last eight months being locked out have been a real nightmare. Let me pop these babies back on and finally get back inside my house. Run. Home sweet home, can I get you a eight month old cup of juice or something? Oh. No thanks, I just need to reactivate the oobnet mesh relay. Oh. Oh, is that what that switch was for? This is your home? There's no bed or toilet or kitchen. Poor thing. Oh. Make sure not to turn it off again. Oh. I'm just wondering, but couldn't you have pressed the keypad buttons without the keycaps to get in? Oh, I guess I could have done that. Good point. Sure. I'll be keeping an eye on your Ubnet tower switch to make sure it stays on. Thank you very much. Shouldn't I get... Isn't that... Isn't that a quest done or something? Something should have popped up, right? Maybe not. Right, let's get Petunia. <laughs> the little smile, so cute. Oh, okay, so it didn't pop up, but when I get back, Tinstall will talk to me about it. How'd it go? I got the Oobnet tower turned on. Fantastic! Let's go see if we have access to the Oobnet now. There's stairs back there? Join Tinstall. Okay, let me get this Petunia first. Petula. Don't worry, little Petula. Petula, I'll bring you back to Melda. Nice. There are stairs back here. For some reason, I imagine no stairs. Hmm, well, the good news is we got a new bar. But it doesn't look like we've got enough bars to connect us to the Oobnet yet. So we need to turn on more towers? That's my guess. The next nearest tower should be in nowhere, so you should head there when you're ready. Can I go there today? Reconnect the Melania Oobnet tower. Nice. Right, let me get this Petula back to Milda, and then let's see if we can go to nowhere today. You found my Petula. P Petula, here's a little token of my appreciation. You're an amazing BFF. Let me give you a cute sticker and some treebies I made. Cute. Oh, cute. Star umbrella. Basic sprinkler times two. Thank you. And 200 gummies? That's really nice. I have 475 now. I could pay this off. Uh, but I still need obsidian, so I'll wait. I'll try to save up my gummies as much as I can. What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, I should put the sprinkler down. I'll do that when I come back. Let's give my ooblet a little umbrella. This guy. This guy needs an umbrella for sure. Ah, oh, perfect. A little star on top. Amazing. 
Right. So I'll just have to remember to set up the sprinklers when I get back. Let's go to nowhere. Native Nilda. I swear, if you're another creep cult recruit here to haunt our swamp. Hello? A what? No. I can't go anywhere anymore without these cultist goofballs popping out to give me a heart attack, ruining my daily power walks. Hello? Cultists? The creep cult. They're these Halloween halfwits who turned up to nowhere to act all spooky. They don't think us nowhere natives fit the aesthetic of the swamp, and so they've been trying to scare us out. This used to be a relaxing place for folks to take quiet, pleasant walks, and now it's full of these kids acting all spooky, and they're creeping everyone out. You know how kids these days are with their fads and Halloween cults. I'm just here to turn on the Oobnet Tower. Well, good luck. The creep cult took over that, hmm? took that over as their headquarters. Who knows what kitschy, macabre baloney they got going, they get up to in there. If you convince them, convince them to let you in, maybe you can convince them to stop bothering everyone. Try. Kinda wanna join them, but sure. Would be long legs. What do you need? Three gambers. A free seed, a dry plant seed, and a hyper seed. 24, 40, and 40. That's so expensive. And what are these? Oh, that's the hat. Roast dregs. Just one. Speaking of the hat, I need to put that hat back on. I love that hat. Lantern hat long. Look, we're buds. Dance with me. And what are these little ghosties? Three beady curds. Do not have beady curds. Oh, is that Mayor Tinstall's little ubi? I'm just gonna walk away. Gimber, mysterious crystal crystalline thingy used in potions and is part of overpriced art at craft fairs. Fair enough. I need three of those to fight the- or dance with the gloopy long legs. Oh, ghost! Ooh, spooky noises coming at you to disturb and terrify. Can you point me to the Oobnet Tower? Never! Only the highest level creep cardinals are allowed to enter the temple. What if I beat you in an Ooblet dance? Now? Yeah, sure, no problem. Well, let's do it. Cute. Just three. I think those are my three with the best moves. Um, let's get some height. Small height. Huh, I lost. So anyway, the tower is just up this path a ways. 
Thank you, Howling Howard. Mind letting me through? Ha, huh, never. But maybe if you can beat my ghoulish glanter team. I'll cap capulate. I'm easy going like that. Let's do it. Cute. I wonder what their moves are. Still don't know the birds, so. Time for me to sulk, skulk off into the darkness of the night. Alright, see you then. Let's go left. What's over here? Oh, hello. Drag plants. So three drag plants and one roasted drag. I like the colors though. I think the skeleton ones, the pink ones. Yeah, isn't that an uncommon? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go back up the stairs. Hi! Those tarnation creepsters. One of them jumped out and scared my sweet Oogum off into the wild. He's a big boy, but he's very timid and all alone somewhere up there. I'll keep an eye out for him. If you find him, please bring him back to me. So they won't let me pass. Maybe it's where I just was. Well, he is quite big. Come on, friend. Here you go. 
You found him. Oh, thank Goosenaps. Please take this reward for bringing my baby back to me. A recipe. Hearty, dregful entree. Roast dregs. Give me this ember. Ember. More friends. Hi, Frankenstein. Dreadful Dreek. Jump scare. Oh, jump scare. No thanks. Could you practice that somewhere else, maybe? Maybe, if you think you can beat me in a dance battle. Sure, let's do it. Three again. Yeah, so let's do the main three then. I'll see if there's somewhere else that's more receptive to my hair-raising haunting. Thank you, Mr. Dreek. Oh, I like these guys. Chicka ding ding. Three glob blobs. Sorry. I like the skeleton costume. I want it. A uh, witch. Witchy Wilba. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just a witch, unaffiliated with the creep cult. I think people can be spooky without bothering anyone. The townies don't seem to mind me. I give them my extra gambers, which they seem to like. That said, I'll still battle you if you like the practice. Sure, why not? Let's see if she's super strong or something. Oh, they all have little reach um, Wow, lots of zero point ones. I don't need to give you these. I can either earn a certain amount or 
Let's do pipe. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. And five points. I like that lady's dress too. Her whole, her whole vibe. Candy floss fuss. Make it kind of even smaller. Well done, you should have this recipe I concocted to commemorate your victory. Uh, gloom bun, a burger of terror and despair, although GMO free. Tains 25 energy. Essence of embiggening. Um, I'm okay. How much is it? Two gembers. I have three, so now I can be the... or dance with the gloopy long legs, so I think I want to do that first. Are you trying to give me a badge, little one? Dear constituent, enjoy this personalized letter from the mayor's office congratulating you on your blank badge. Thank you. Travel to nowhere. Ooh, lots of wishes. Thank you. Love that. It's nighttime now, so I should probably get back soon. Hi, I'm Spooky Steve, the spookiest fellow around. I've been told I'm endearing. What do you think? Maybe? I've heard that the locals around here aren't too fond of you cultists spooking everything up. Hmm, I never really thought about it, but now that you mention it, we are pretty inconsiderate with, like, the whole haunting people deal. Tell you what, if you bring me five bunglebee buns to munch on, I'll head home. My heart's really not in it. My heart's not really in it with all this anyway. Seems fair. I'll be back. Okay, I think those are 40 each, so... 40 times 5 sure is a number. 200, right? It'll cost 200 gummies. so expensive. Three spressies and four bunglebee buns. Five or whatever. Gosh. I'll have to do that the next day. I even have the money for it. And yes, let's fight these guys. Or dance battle. Ooh, lots of them.
wonder if I become friends with that guy, he'll give me free bubble points. Like how Double gave me free coffee. Me. Good job, little floppy, goopy long legs. You did great. I'm sorry if you can hear that. What is the guy with the bungle buns? What's his name? Is he out at night or only during the day? Wasn't one of my things to talk to Ragnolia. Where's she at? Hi, Ragnolia. Do you have any hands-on experience in reversing catastrophic universal vacuum decay on short notice? I don't think so. I really can't talk right now. Fair enough. Peach always sleeps behind me when I'm streaming, or next to me, next to my leg, and Mon usually sleeps on the bed that we have, the cat bed, uh, right next to our bed. So whenever I'm streaming, I can watch Peach, or watch Mon sleeping peacefully, and sometimes cuddle up with Peach, but she's behind me right now. She's got angry ears on. Why is she angry? Does the bumblebee guy like to hang out down here? What is that guy? Hmm. I don't know. Ooh. Chocolates are almost ready. when I level up mead seeds. I think she gets new seeds, but I wonder if she has more than 10 available at a time, too. How much longer their cloth has got? Ah, quarter of a day. much rather have the um the dance barn. Go to sleep soon so you won't be drowsy tomorrow. Yes, I will do that. After I'm done watering everything. Oh and I'll need to plant the gloopy long leg seed. all those extra coffees though so if I'm sleepy tomorrow hopefully I can just have a coffee. Why does it say saving? No! Does that mean that I'll be sleepy tomorrow? I've reached the point of no return. Uh, is there one? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. No! Let me water all my crops before bedtime. Here, run to bed. I'll play one more day. Oh, that's right. I, I keep thinking that it saves only when I sleep, but that's not true. So, I might play for like half a day and then save. Ooh, level five almost. Ooh, okay. Um. Mm. 
The only one I could get is Gloopy Long Legs, and it's the common one that I already have. Herbal, I already have. The other ones are a bit frustrating. I already have the Uncommon Dumb Bird and Lump Stump, I think. I gotta check on the Dumb Bird 